Yes, well, it certainly is me. You are a shepherdess? You, you know me! You know me so well! Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when it was horrible. Wolves, blood and screams everywhere. Did you get hurt? No. You protected me. I did? I carry your totem to pray to, to watch over me. But I was so scared I dropped my totem as I ran. I can look for your totem. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where were you attacked? I was leading my flock to pasture through the forest south of the city. I know others have heard wolves howling there on many nights, but I took a chance. Tell me about this totem. It's a simple thing. An eagle of rough wood and crudely fashioned. It does not come close to capturing your divine glory, but still, it has kept me safe until now. Ah, I, uh... Wish it had protected you better. No! It is I who must apologize to you for losing it. I feared you would be angry with me. No, no, of course not. I'll look for your lost totem. Wolf's poor. They must den near here. Herifeli must have dropped this basket when the wolves attacked. Blood trail. The pack went this way. One of Erifili's flock. Or what's left of him after the wolf's breakfast. That must be the den of the wolves that attacked Erifili's flock. Worth a look. Wolf dragged this bag here. Almost like it was driven. Here's the totem. Invincible eagle bearer. The priestess said you battled the wolves as if guided by the blood-stained Ares himself. How did she know that? She burns offerings of young goats to see signs of your passage. She said you found my totem. It was luck that I was able to find it. The wolves had dragged it deep into their den. Here you go. Gratitude, eagle bearer. Would you bless it for me? You don't need my blessing. 
Just watch the world around you. And you can call me Cassandra. Thank you, Eagle... Cassandra. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. T tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, filling my head with visions and fears. I cannot work and my crops wither. Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods day and night since I took over the farm after my father passed. The voices won't let me sleep, nor rest, and the farm is so much work. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. That the sky will open and drown the fields and my farm. That dark, writhing things will come from the ground and feast on my crops and on my flesh. ...that the Earth will open and swallow us whole! I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. Perhaps. But first, I must determine if this truly is the work of the gods... ...or if your plight is of a more... ...earthly nature. Water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. Huh. These crops stink. Could that drought affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menalcas broke them, the gods might be angered. Demeter and Dionysus might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. These offerings look abandoned and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. Menalcas is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that's ridiculous. Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Huh? You wouldn't curse his harvest. I wouldn't? Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. Arrow of Artemis. Shield of Athena. Child of Zeus. Not the mistress of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So, Menalcas's problems are caused by... Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected... Gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? I should talk to him. Eagle Bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops, and is polluting your mind. What do we do? How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest, and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. that work gone to smoke no one said it would be easy it had to be done i confess i do feel a bit better already thank you for all your help and guidance i think that's everyone priestess exioni mentioned 
Time to find it again. <sighs> Wondrous eagle bearer. Your name and glory drop from everyone's lips. My sisters and I wish to throw a grand festival in your honor. You will be the cherished guest, if you insist. However, there is one more who could benefit from your attention. Halkipi frets about her brother. In truth, he is a strange one, touched by madness. Or perhaps a chosen of the gods. Ah, here she is now. Speak to her, reassure her, and then we will celebrate. By the gods, it's you. It's me. It's you. By the gods, my prayers are answered. Speak to the eagle bearer, my child. You have come to help me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, yes, of course. It's my brother, Kalistratos. He has always been a bit odd, but this past year, I think the gods have cursed him. Ah, oh, that is, I don't mean to offend. Go on. Your brother? My brother's farm is a small way from the village. Always doing his own thing. I haven't seen him for days, but when I went to pass by, I heard terrifying noises. I think something might have happened, but I'm not brave enough to go see. I'll take a look for you. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You're too kind, too generous, too nice. Thank you. What can you tell me about your brother? Kalistratos always tries some new scheme or crazy idea. His last one was to breed chickens that would lay giant eggs. Each egg to feed a family, he said. And he'd sell them far and wide and become rich. What do you think happened to Kalistratos? I don't know. Maybe a lion or wolf got into the farm. Terrible noises nearly scared my hair white. I'm sure whatever it is would be no match for you, mighty eagle bearer. I pray he's all right. Where is your brother's farm? He has a large farmstead northeast of here. He doesn't take very good care of it, though. Always caught up in some crazy scheme. I'll visit your brother's farm and see what's going on. Come on. The Mistyos who saved your life? You could say thanks. Huh. Not sure you had to kill my best chickens, though. Watch your tongue, little man. I came on behalf of your sister, who showed proper respect. Don't make me angry. So tell her I'm fine already. Hmm. Maybe I can get a goat from Mesara and catch a lion and breed them somehow. Maybe with a snake. I'm sure I could make a fortune.
I'll keep me your brother is something else. But he's alive and I suppose well. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. Yes, <laughs> he is a difficult one. But you have answered my prayers. I will always be your devoted servant. Ah. Uh... The priestesses have begun preparing a great feast in your honor for all of Linu to celebrate you. It will be magnificent. Cassandra, Calamity, Myrto has been struck down by illness. Take me to her. The girl was thrilled about the idea of the festival to honor you. She was rushing about, buzzing with excitement, when she suddenly collapsed. Please. Igulbeche, can you do anything for her? Did anyone see anything? Does she have any wounds? No, no insect or snake bites, but her brow burns with fever. What was Myrto doing when she got sick? She was preparing the meat you brought in for the festival, per the priestess's instructions. Where is Priestess Exioni now? I don't know. I overheard her calling out for help, telling people not to be scared. But she's vanished. That's strange behavior. I'll ask around and see if anyone else knows anything. And see if I can't find the priestess. to offend you. Nothing. I just want to know if you saw what happened to the girl, Mirto. I saw the girl steal a taste of food for your feast, and she fell ill. She tasted it? Yes. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me. What? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, Ikebera, do not curse me with your anger. What? Why would I curse you? Your anger is well storied. We seek only to please you, unlike that disrespectful waif Myrto. What did Myrto do? I could not say. I only know that Exioni called Myrto a wrongdoer and said you had punished her for her transgressions as a warning to us all. That is ridiculous. I need to find Exioni. Greyhair, where can I find the priestess Exioni? You must know. The priestess and her sisters have a secluded retreat. None know where it is, for it is hidden from common eyes. I cannot say more for risk of offending them or you. Those women do not speak for me. Tell me now, or I'll get angry. Yes, yes. They appear from and retreat to a secret den past the border to Elise. Time to have words. Time for a ride. told me to meet her at the statue of Artemis in the Cedar.
Exioni, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? I don't want to play games. Please, tell me what you know so I can save Mirto. <laughs> of course, beloved eagle bearer. We want the same. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her, but it is too dangerous for us mere mortals to descend into. I'll go get it. Expect me to become bear shit? My like is. First the bear, then the plant. We're hoping for a martyr god and not a pissed off Mystios. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaka! I killed your bear. You're here. You're alive. Very much so. And angry. You better have an antidote for poor Mirto, or else. <sighs> or what? Shut your lying, filthy mouths. You poisoned Mirto to try to hurt me. And then when I found you, you tried to feed me to a cursed bear. Yes. No, we didn't mean it. Didn't mean it? You lying, Malakis. You've got Linu wrapped around your fingers, and you're living fat off the villagers in my name. It's true. So true, your divinity. I am not a god, you thieving swine. Give me the antidote for Mirto, or I'll split your heads open. Now be gone.
I have the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Cassandra? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. Look inside yourselves. You'll know that I'm no god, and you can live for yourselves. Maybe you are right. Still, you saved my daughter. I'll never forget that. Thank you, Eagle Bearer, for giving us the courage to stand on our own. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message, and a guide for them to do for themselves. Ah, 